We're done here. No, leave this place. <laughs> I know. Fucking get out. I started getting... I mean, like, Legend of Zelda Warriors... I loved Hyrule Warriors. It was very good. I never played any Warriors games. I had Dynasty Warrior 5. That was my first time playing it, and I was bad at it. Because I didn't listen to the instructions. All I wanted to do was run around and hit a bunch of people. And I always played as uh, Cow Cow. Because I thought that was a funny name. There's always... there's I think there's also a guy named Poo Poo or something. There's an item. item, item. In the banana. I think it was Poo Poo. PP or something like that. It was something funny that dumb... Dumb brain... 11 year old me thought was fucking hilarious. If I was even that old. Uh... The thing that... Something is... Oh, it's the mouse. <laughs> Something that pisses me off to this day, though. Um, that I think about. The reason I picked that game up was because I was a dumb kid. My mom, you know, went, took me into GameStop and said, pick out something you like. Uh, so I see cool warrior dude with, like, you know, weapon on the cover. I was like, oh, that game's going to be so cool. And yeah. this guy... I guess he worked there because he was older than me. Came over to talk to me about it. And I asked him, like, what's this game like? And he was like, oh, that's a hack and slash. Are they not? Not really. I mean, like, the way you control your character, they play similar <coughs> to what I've seen. <coughs> but I, I understand what makes them different. In the, it's just that, like, it's that, but with a shit ton of enemies. Eh, I don't know if I'd consider them hack and slashes, though. Maybe. You, you do have, like, kind of combos. But, like... I don't even know if back in Dynasty Warriors 5 if they were doing, like, the big fucking... explosive things. Anyway, BJ asked me, the last game I played, it becomes a Muso. Muso. Yeah, he said and, League of Legends. Yeah, I was playing League with uh, Matt and, and Gaza. Mine would be Mario's Picross 2. A League of Legends uh, Warriors game Warriors. would actually be fucking sick. That would be fucking amazing. Well, mine would be cool too because you'd, you'd be able to play as Mario or See, Wario. A League fighting game would be dope. Which I think they're making one. I'm like 99% sure they are. Uh, they're making um, they're making a lot of uh, uh, games based around league characters. One of them is like a, a platformer, uh, like a Prince of Persia: Sands of Time style platformer. Um, what are you doing? I'm uh, getting. Does poison resist resist toxin toxic? I don't know. But they have a character named Echo whose whole thing is like he's like a time manipulator, and in the in, in League he's got like a he has a an Echo that follows him, and uh, he can all he can like recall to it. And I think they're gonna try to make like a Prince of Persia game through that mechanic. Huh. Uh. They tried. Oh, I think we. I think we got everything. In there. You sure? I remember you went in there and you got and you and you freaked out because there was a dude, a toxic dude, and you were just you turned and went out. You can try. I don't think you dropped down to get either of the items that were on floor level. You can try. If I didn't. Where are you going? Uh, killing this man. Oh, I don't think you. I don't think you noticed him. Yeah, I. I know that there was a guy here, so. I don't think so. I mean, I knew there was a guy somewhere in this place that shot toxic, and I just assumed he was up here. Mm. And I did see things coming to me. Shit! Yeah. What is bloated head? It's from the DLC. It's what I got from your mom last night. Go where? I don't know where you're going now. Uh, I'm. Taking a trip around. Oh wait, yeah, there's actually nothing this way. 
Okay, there's not an item there. Look to the right. Yeah, there's an item over here. I did not grab that. That's supposed to be a Firekeeper's soul, right? Yes. Alright, well, I don't need Toxic anymore, so... I'll put... Mother's... I'm just gonna let everybody gather here. No. Whoa. Just, uh. Just grab the item. Yeah, I guess I should. And then if you don't make it out. <sighs> too bad. Why isn't there. Oh, yeah, there is a decoy item. I was wondering why there wasn't an item that you could, like, throw and then people would go after it, but. There absolutely is. It's worth it! There's also a uh, oral decoy. Oral decoy? Oral decoy. Oh. I think she said oral. <laughs> like you could use the voice stones. Hello! Thank you. Very good. I'm sorry. Nice cock. Oh, that's very, very good! <laughs> that's very funny. You sound like the fucking orange guy uh, in Aqua Team. <laughs> the Plutonian. I was going more for uh, the guy off of uh, the, 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 what is it, with the minions called? Gru? Yeah. I think, I think, I think that's Brax voice actor that voices uh, the Plutonian. People, I saw people getting mad that apparently Adult Swim acts like the Brack show never happened. Really? I don't know what, why they said that. And I was like, what? What? First off, why would they care enough to deny it? Yeah. Like, nobody remembers the Brack show. It wasn't that great of a show. It was pretty funny, but a lot of better shows have come out. And it's still on their website. I don't think they've taken it off. What's the deal with Space Goes Coast to Coast? Was that a fake interview every time? I think they were... Yeah? I mean, like, fake as in an animated person. No, I, like... No, I'm pretty sure the, the celebrity interviews were actually, like, recorded on set. Are you sure about that? I think. Because <laughs> I was reading something saying that it wasn't. Well, I don't know then. But I was like, it doesn't sound right for some reason. I feel like people have referenced Space Ghost. Yeah. While talking to him. I don't know I don't know for sure. I guess we could try to fight Quaylog. I don't I mean that would unlock Oh uh, yeah, we still haven't done that. Yeah. Well, the Bell Gargoyle. Yeah. Well so how many We have two twinkling tight notes now. Um you know, uh, my YouTube recommendations, I've been getting a lot of Samurai Jack clips. Probably just because you watch a lot of fucking Cartoon Network stuff. Fuck off. I'm just... I don't watch a lot of Cartoon Network stuff. I mean, not like on YouTube. You don't watch Adventure Brothers and Aqua Teen Hunger Force clips? No. Well, there I have been... I don't watch Adventure Brothers clips. I've already, I already watched the whole series. There, w I was getting Aqua Teen clips, which prompted me to watch the series. But now I'm getting Samurai Jack, and now I'm mad because I want to watch Samurai Jack, and it's not on Adult Swim site anymore. They had like all of it, new and old, like late last year, maybe before that. And now I'm mad. I'm fresh. I'm who. I look. Good. I look like Pud. <laughs> hey, the Sunlight Straight Sword. That's also a good face weapon. Why? Oh, you Somebody rang the oh the bell downstairs. The basement bell. Yeah, we we did it out of water. That's guy's so skinny. It looks weird. It looks so weird. No, it's so skinny. 
No! Why? Why do they look like that? I love old people voices in cartoons. Yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? Because they never get old people to voice. What are you <laughs> it's always just they're He's all doing Bobby. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's Bobby? Bobby Hill. That was always a bit that he had where he would like pull up his pants and go, "What are you talking about?" What are you talking about? Uh, excuse me, I have to go uh, find my uh, family. It's sh shit like that. I love the young children, and they always just sound Jewish. That was what they did in Boy, in Boy Meets World. Whenever Corey, Jewish man, whenever Corey would like be old, he would go, "What are you doing? They want you to take the roles." I never watched Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World was a good show! More like... I love Boy Meets World. Blah Meets World, because it's blah. blah. Okay. I love Boy Meets World. The only problem is, is like... Fuck. It's no even Steven. Whoa, alright. Watch this hammer shrink. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only problem I have with Boy Meets World is, like, watching it as an adult again. Uh, the main character is is so fucking immature. <laughs> like, they're, they're in high school, aren't they? <laughs> even then, like, he is so fucking self-centered. He's in high school, right? His friends are also in high school, and they're not that bad. Well, yeah, because his friends are all... I don't know. Hi, Yuffie. <gasps> Yuffie, come here. She won't. She only wants... She hissed at me last time I was here. She only wants me. Because you went behind the TV. That's her safe space. Okay, I'm sorry I touched her cat zone. You invaded her safe space. We don't got safe space here, darling. This is Summerton Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and if you got a problem with it, we got one place for you to go. Out out of here. <laughs> what? I gotta wear a mask. This is Obama's doing, isn't it? Oh boy. Nice. Nice job. Nice on. Oh my god. Have there been any video games that just like added masks onto all their characters because of this? Probably. Just like an update where like, oh everybody's got masks now. I should do this again. What, pussy and pussy out and puss puss over there? You puss. Well. Well. Uh, no. Oh my god. You I I'm gonna give you belly rubs. I'm sure you love that. I love that. You know where we're at, right? Huh? Oh thank god. I, th I oh, thought no, it yeah, you... I thought I didn't rest there. <laughs> We'd be back in Black Town. Yeah, no, I would I would hit you. Where are you going? I would strike you. You ever look at the subreddit called just A? No, I haven't. It's just videos that, like, it's kind of like uh, perfectly cut screams, but it's always like the very first millisecond of the scream. So it's just like, ah. <laughs> it sounds kind of stupid, but sometimes it's funny. <sighs> but it's kind of annoying to split the two. Um, were, you know. Were you there when we played Pummel Party and I lost? I've only played Pummel Party once. No. Twice. Yeah. I, mean, I meant to say twice. The number okay. two was in my head. And I won both of them, right? I don't remember. I did. Did you play with me, Blake, Michael, Matt, and Matt's friend Gunner? No. Okay. I lost that one. Because I fucking hate Gunner. You don't... I don't know who that is. Um, he's from Canada. Oh, I fucking hate Gunner. <laughs> um... We on, rats. 
They targeted me. <laughs> the whole game. Well, you deserve it. They they fucking in this in one turn, everybody but Michael used all of their shit on me. They all had wrecking balls and they all fucking used them on me. I didn't even have a single fucking goblet yet. And I was like three spaces away from one, so I was like, okay, I'll be, you know. I'll finally be able to catch up and maybe but the thing is, is if they didn't do that, I actually would have won the game. Because I got all the bonus goblets. I guess it was a good idea then. It was a good idea. But it was it was tilting. Oh, I forgot we have lightning spear. There's going to be a point where that gargoyle wakes up. Yeah, I should go in that. That's what I tried to do last time. And <laughs> she fucking... No. Surrounded me. Oh, it's happening. You're stuck. You're stuck. Well, at least I got spear. It's not gonna be enough. All oh, right, I have to two-hand it. If you um. Is it possible to fuck her? Like, is, is... Is the mouth the vagina? Well, you have to wonder, is it one being or two being? I think we'll need to do some research. Bring up rule 34. Uh-oh. What is this? It's the... Yeah. Oh, it's the fucking gargoyle, isn't it? Yep. Well, uh... Uh oh. Well, now you're dead. Nah. -uh. That's a okay. shit fight. Okay, so. I mean, that's the thing about mermaids, you know? People. Mermaid, mermaid, mermaids look attractive. Yes. They're very, they, they're very arousing. They're by their very nature, but. Well, where? no, no, I don't think mermaids are arousing by their nature. I think the top half is arousing. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. That's all it is, though. They're just scantily clad women. But... There you go. <laughs> That's but all you can you get that from humans. Yeah, but like these, these have a certain exoticness to them. But that's beside the point. It's the same thing as Quelag. The bottom half, the parts that, that that the human mind is trying to get after in their primitive minds, they can't. They can't do fuck. That's the thing that always bothered me about that episode of Futurama, though, where Fry tries to fuck that mermaid. Is like, just ask for a blowjob, dude. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's underwater. I don't know how that'd feel exactly. It would feel like a blowjob, but a little wet. Well, I don't know if... <laughs> they they kind of are. <laughs> they tend to be. I've never had an underwater beach, though, so I wouldn't... Uh oh, fuck me. God. Well, I mean, I don't think I don't think Fox would allow them to like just be like, "Hey, can I have a blowjob instead?" All they can do is imply sex. Why can't they imply blowjob? Um, standards and practices. Uh, there's probably some arbitrary rule saying like how how explicit you can be when referring to sex acts. Oh, God. This is so shitty. All right, let's just. Oh my God! Oh. What hit me? What hit me the first time? Oh. She can kill it. Oh, she can, that's so. She can, she can kill the gargoyle. God. What other, um... <sighs> okay. You should have gone to McDonald's to get the Fortnite Travis Scott burger. Fuck. Instead of Taco Bell. You're gonna die from poison. You're gonna die from poison. <laughs> well, now you've seen what the poison death looks yeah. like. Yeah. You go, oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> poison. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I got it this time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say it. Uh, My friend and I, uh, when we were very, very young, 
and we're shocked, I say, uh, at the idea of Kanye West using the N-word in oh Gold my, Digger. Oh my god. Uh, we started saying, broke Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls right at the top. <laughs> that was the closest thing I could think of to that word. She ain't messing with no broke Niagara Falls. <laughs> he told me it worked. It worked? It fit. <laughs> well, he told you wrong. <laughs> Cause she ain't messing with no broke Niagara Falls. That's a that's a that's a Lin Manuel Miranda rap. Cause she ain't messing with no broke Niagara Falls. I don't know who that is. It's a Hamilton thing. Hambeasy. Hambeasy! <laughs> it's gonna do like three damage. <laughs> Here's mine. Alright. Deal with this motherfucker. Can I like get the other Wiimote and like shoot star bits at him or something? Distract him? If Dark Souls had a girlfriend mode, how do you think they would implement it? Uh, I don't think they would. Well, that's why I said if. It, that, it would be too easy. Well, it wouldn't... It would have to be something not overly, uh... You know, helping. Isn't that what just summoning is? Something that... I think in order to be like a girlfriend mode, it would have to be like both on the same screen, but you're not both, but it's not co-op. It, you're not doing the same things. There's very, there is a very vast power difference between the main player and the second player. So like Mario Galaxy is just a second pointer to shoot and collect star bits. Uh, Mario Odyssey, you control the hat. Yeah. Which I have done before. I've turned on that mode for a, a specific minigame. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> what level have you gotten to in Odyssey? Um. That's the last thing I. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Both of us. The last place I was... God, it's been a few days since I played it. I was at... Did you make it to New York City yet? Yeah, I, I finished that. And then after that was... I love that song. Yeah, it is a good song. Let's see the alternate cutscene from doing this one second. Really? Um, what, what was after New Donk City? The Ice Place? I did Ice Place. Ice Place. Ice Place. I did Beach Place. That's an Ice Place. Is there an Ice Place? Yeah, there's an Ice Place. You do the race. It's very short. Oh! Oh! Right, right. Yeah, that level is forgettable. There's there's a few that are just like, you kind of go in and do one thing, and then you get like the story moon, and then you're gone. Well, if that's how you want to play. Well, I, I got every moon I could every single time I was in a I, I get everything that I see, but I don't like go out and get every moon. I don't want 100... I'm, I, I get stuck hundred trying to 100% stuff on my first try, so I'm just going to beat the game and play it at my own pace. What else? What is after that? So there's Ice Place, Beach Place, and then, uh... Shit, dude. I can't fucking remember. Well, fuck. Well, we gotta go to, uh... Also, did you notice that the Odyssey blinks? What? 
You know the headlight on it? It's got like little shutters on it, like uh, like window shutters. But if you stand there long enough, they'll like close once and then reopen, like mm. it's blinking. I did not notice that. It's it's it creeped me out the first time I saw it because there's nothing else that would like imply that the Odyssey is alive. The biggest thing about that game that I love that I don't think really gets enough credit that when people talk about Mario Odyssey, they don't... It's not the first thing they jump to. I love the fucking hat-throwing transformation thingies. Like, people don't just talk about that. They talk about, like, the level design and all that shit. Like, obviously. But, like... There are some unique fucking gameplay changes. I mean, yeah, they're... I, 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 I'm liking it better than I thought it would. It doesn't feel like a tacked-on gimmick. It feels natural to use. But, oh, no, no, no. but not, like, overly... Right. Um, required, I guess. There are a couple. There's one when you get to the final level. You know, the, the final world, Bowser world. Um, that will uh, definitely... It's a cool one. I love it personally, but it, you may not like it. It's it's like a platforming challenge with a, a bird. bird, but it's a hummingbird. See a little, a little nose. A beak. <laughs> hey, a beak, as they're called. Oh god, there's some behind you. Yeah, <laughs> it was me. I can't believe I live. Yeah. Well, I might have spoken a bit too soon. Okay. Have you ever seen the concept art? Like, the different designs that they used for the Brutals? No. The rabbit bosses? No, I have not. It's interesting because you can kind of see, like, the order that they do things because all of the different designs they used, they all were designed in, like, the same gameplay. Like, one of them had a ball and chain, one of them uh, had something to do with poison, and so on and so on. No matter what the designs were. But there was one that I really fucking liked where they were all like little crocodiles. I hope the Brutals aren't, aren't recurring. I hope so too. They look like they're going to be. I Just, hate them. I don't like their design. I, I'm not a fan. I mean, I kind of get why they're rabbits. But... Why do you get it? Because rabbits have a weird connection to the moon in, like, Japanese media. I don't know if you, even if it's just Japanese media or not. I mean, no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> That's exactly why. Oh, sorry, I spoiled the game, everybody, but... There's a moon level. Yeah, and that's their fucking home base. You get the fuck peach on the moon. So there's, uh, there's the moon, right? Yeah. Oh, God. And then there's the dark side of it, which is just a boss rush against all the Brutals. And it sucks. Next time, BJ goes home. Josh is kicking me out of his house because he'd rather play World of Warcraft. I gotta play World of Warcraft. I still gotta transfer the files, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I gotta kick you out now. Mm -hmm. Mama Luigi. <laughs>